All right, folks, Morserino 32. You saw us build this on Kyle's channel? I'll link a, vi a video up there, up there, down there, somewhere, anywhere, I don't know. I'll link a video for you of, of the build where we built this thing as a group. And I'll tell you a couple of things that I like about it. Right off the bat, I like the fact that it came with a case. Most of your kit projects that you build do not come with a case. and. And this isn't even, like, cases don't have to be that hard. It's just it's just a little polishing, a little finishing touch. This is just a, two pieces of acrylic that have the proper cutouts and holes in them to, to make it work. So, fantastic. Um, it was very easy to put together. The parts didn't have a whole lot of overlap. All the surface mount stuff was already done for you. It was only a couple of small pieces it does the thing. It was it was really hard to, to do this wrong. Um, a couple of things that I don't like about it, and it's fine, it is what it is, I mean you, you, you build something, you design something, you're not going to please everybody, so don't think of this as criticism, but I find these touch paddles a little too light to the touch for me. And the solution to that is use the existing jack that Willie built in to put in your own paddle. Use the paddle that you prefer, no problem whatsoever. Um, the Coke trainer, cock trainer, Koch trainer that he has doesn't seem to have a, you've made it. So you know, you're practicing the letter A and you just practice the letter A until you get tired and bored and shut this thing off. It doesn't say like, you've done A 25 times in a row, you're ready for B, you know. Um, not a, not a super huge criticism. It's just a it's a thing. I mean, you clearly can turn it off and turn it back on. No big deal. Um, and then I don't understand why, but he used a different audio jack for almost all of the audio jack type stuff. Maybe I am missing something on that. I don't know. But you have headphones. Um, this one's called In and Out. I don't even know what that one is, and this one's where you plug the paddle in. Um, I used it for a little while. I think it's a neat little toy. I think it's a great uh, solder kit to build. I think it's a fantastic addition to the hobby. You can, uh, he's got a, a setup in here where it actually comes with the connector for kind of an off the shelf standard battery that you can get, and there's room for the battery underneath. Uh, Tango Oscar Mike found a battery in his stash and shoved it under there. I think Chuck had a battery in his stash that would work. Um, so it can be totally portable, it can be self-contained. You can take it on an airplane with you and, and practice while you're in your, in your flight seat. Um, let's plug it in. You need to have a regular cell phone style charger or USB port or whatever. It does come pre-programmed out of the box and ready to roll. And then you plug it in and it's on. Morserino version 3.0.2. See if I can zoom in for you. Ooh, look at that technology. I don't think I've ever zoomed in on something on the bench. Yeah. Um, so turn the, the knob left and right to move back and forth. Push the button to go into a menu. Hold the button to go back up a level. I'm at the top level. So I go to CW Keyer. Press the button once, start CW here, it's at 20 words a minute, so I can turn it down. There's a little click there for you, a little bit of feedback, turn it down to five words a minute. You make perfect tease at five words a minute. Um, I like to run, when I'm actually on my radio, I run about 18 words a minute for comfortable keying, and I do use a, a set of paddles. Not a um, not a straight key, and so I missed it because I wasn't on the the touch sensitive part of the paddle. I was on the edge of the paddle, and a real paddle that would work. And these are touch sensitive, so it doesn't work. It's a thing. It's not a big thing. It's just a thing. Um, so my name. I was a little too slow on that last letter. Um, so it says S-T-E-V, and then a space, and then an E. 
So, I mean, it's a, it's a practice tool. It's cool. Um, there might be a way to clear the screen. I don't know. Type that out a lot, so I mean, I got it right. Um, when you go into other modes, let's see, let's get back out of here, hold this down long. You get up to the top menu, you have CW Keyer, you have CW Generator, you have Echo Trainer, you have Cock Trainer, Koch Trainer, Cook Trainer, depending on what nationality you are, is how you say that. Transceiver, CW Decoder, uh, Wi Fi functions. Let's see what CW Decoder does. Oh, it's up to 19 words a minute. Yep, I don't even know what that does. Wi-Fi functions. This has the ability to get online and you can practice across the internet with friends remotely as if you needed some other meaning, some other way to do that because you could also do that on a radio. Um, there are servers out there where you can send up code and it'll pair it back what it hears and a couple of other online functions. We had trouble getting this to work um, but it was configured to connect to the Wi-Fi and there are some instructions for making that happen in the instruction sheet. What else do we have? Go to sleep. Power off. Red to turn on. So I pushed the red and it came back on. So, cool. Let's see. Wi-Fi functions. Go to sleep. CW gear. CW generator, random. Generator start, stop, paddle. Okay, so I hit the paddle again to stop it. So this would be something where you would have um, I don't know, some type of note taking app or note page and paper and write down some notes. Um, so, you know, cover up the screen and see if you got it right. And then look back at the screen and verify that you did get it right. So there's a good way to practice there. Writing down um, your, your Morse code as you're practicing is actually not a good way to learn because it's supposed to slow you down. However, as a ham radio operator, when you are working on Morse code, um, you are logging because you're writing down your contact and your signal report and um, QTH and stuff along those lines. So do what you got to do to to get you there. I'm gonna go back. Well, okay. So inside of CW generator, there's random, CW abbreviations, English words, call signs, and mixed between all of the above. So if you do English words, let's start it. So it's not making sentences, it's just putting up random words. So when, idea, them, him. Hit the paddle and stop it. Stop that. Hold the button down to go back. Hold the button down to go up a level. So the, the whole button down and, and twisting knob thing makes sense when you're doing it. It's, it's sort of intuitive. Echo trainer. Uh, let's do CW abbreviations. Start, press the paddle. See, that's the paddle being real sensitive for me. Yay! English words, so the echo channel will do kind of the same thing. Random, CW abbreviations, English words, call signs, mixed, 
and it'll also do a file player, so you could upload a file onto here of like a, an audio book, well not an audio book, but a, a text book, and it would read the text to you, and then you could play back the words, or it could, if there's some words that you find that you have routine difficulty with, um, you know, you can put those words on here and repeat them. Let's hold it down to go up a level, Echo Trainer, Koch Trainer, push that wants to go into it, select lesson, let's go back down to Lesson two is K. So lesson one is M, lesson two is K. Let's do that. Okay, so I've selected the lesson, then I go learn new CW character, press the paddle to start. And as you can see on the screen, it gives you um, da da da, and then it does K, and it, it's getting impatient because I'm not answering it fast enough. If you get it right, it says OK. I did it wrong on purpose. It says error. If you don't answer fast enough, it just repeats it. It'll put up what you put on. What you, what you keyed in, so I keyed in a T, it put a T on the screen. And so this is lesson number two and it's not giving me um, K and M. So I'm on lesson number two, now let's see what CW Generator does. Maybe this will give me multiple letters. So CW Generator mixed, random, CW abbreviations, English words, and back to mixed. So let's do mixed. Okay, so this is going through the lessons that I'm on. I'm on lesson number two, which is M and K, and it's giving me random combinations of M and K. Let's go into English words. I don't know if there are any English words that start with M and K. I don't know what it's going to give me. So I'm just supposed to be taking notes of what I hear, and obviously I just hear M's, which is lesson one. And like with M and K, there are no English words that are M and K, so it's not going to get that. All right, let's go up a level to CW Generator. Let's go up a level to Cook Trainer. Well, down a level, select lesson, learn new character, CW Generator, Echo Trainer. This is where it will give me... it'll give me characters and then I'm supposed to repeat back what I heard and if I don't repeat back soon enough it'll tell me I got it wrong okay so there's the echo trainer and it goes through all the same things English words mixed random CW abbreviations select lesson we already did that learn new character we already did go back up to the top one over transceiver let's click on that Laura TRX so this will actually work um, short range Wi-Fi with another Morserino in the room. Um, it'll work Wi-Fi over the Wi-Fi connection that you have, which could be another Morserino in your in your house or in your office or across the internet. Um, ICW external TRX. I don't know what that is. And we're back to Laura. Let's go back up to the top. CW decoder. Click on that. Start the decoder. That's 17 words a minute, and I can't change the speed right now. Oh, it's, it's the speed that I'm inputting. That's, that's hard. I don't know what it's doing. Okay, so it's acting like a straight key. Yeah, so there's K. D. 
K R E I okay, so it doesn't matter which paddle you push it's going over the duration that you push the the paddle so either one can be either side so that that's a little counterintuitive in my mind hold the button down to go back Wi-Fi functions display MAC address configure Wi-Fi check Wi-Fi upload file upload firm update firmware display MAC address and just starts circling through those there is a way when this thing comes out of the box that it starts up with its own Wi-Fi hotspot you connect to it with your phone and then you can put in your password for your Wi-Fi network so that's pretty nice because in theory you just got this thing and you are not a Morse code superstar um, so not being a Morse code superstar it would be really hard to input 100% perfect Morse code to get your Wi-Fi password correct to join this thing to your Wi-Fi network so I get that so it's long press to go up go to sleep and then we're back to the beginning so that's all there is um, Willie doesn't make this model anymore he has a new model that's coming out um, you can find these for sale on Willie's website, which is www.morserino.info. It's actually printed on the board. Willie's call sign is OE1WKL. Um, he's going to have a newer version of this coming out soon. And then you can find these versions on eBay. So that's the Morserino. Well, that's not thumbs up. That's the wrong direction. That's the Morserino. See what I did there? All right, folks. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.